Section 31.09 and 31.10 of the Texas Penal Code are similar to statutes found in Chapter 28 concerning the value of property damaged in offenses like criminal mischief, graffiti, and interference with railroad property. Section 31.09 and 31.10 deal with property involved in theft, however. Just like the statutes in Chapter 28, though, they don't describe offenses, but rather detail how to do the math when determining the offense levels for property crimes. First, according to the Penal Code, when amounts are obtained in violation of this chapter pursuant to one scheme or continuing course of conduct, whether from the same or several sources, the conduct may be considered as one offense, and the amounts aggregated in determining the grade of the offense. So in plain language, a stolen item worth $75 would normally grade as a C misdemeanor under the standard value ladder. If a person steals two of these same items as part of the same scheme of conduct or during the same criminal episode, essentially at the same time or as part of the same crime, the penal code says the amounts may be added together to total $150 and therefore charged as a B misdemeanor. Finally, very similar to what we've encountered in Chapter 28, the Penal Code states it is not a defense to prosecution to a criminal offense that an actor has an interest in property stolen if another person has an interest the actor is not entitled to infringe. So in plain language, it's not against the law to steal your own property, for lack of a better characterization, unless someone else has a monetary interest in the property. In that case, it might be against the law. Keep in mind, however, just as we discussed in Chapter 28, practically speaking, this concept can get very complicated and may stray into the realm of civil law, particularly in the case of property subject to family relationships, marriages, and dating relationships. Remember, this is statutory guidance more or less, so it needs to be informed by case law and the opinion of an attorney.